flow of emotions. One more time for your new champion, Caleb Wood. Getting the job done. A huge congratulations to him. What's up, buddy? Yeah, it's my first dirt bike race. It's not even a gate drop, so I still retired from gate drops. 13 years, we're coming out here, like teenager fresh out the womb. Uh, I lost two wheels. Perfect weather for riding and uh, perfect weather for a two stroke. I'm ready. It's another day, man. My back's hurting a little bit. Had a had a little little crash last week, so I'm getting the old man problem. The, my back my back done gave out. <laughs> it looks perfect. Yeah, it's looking right here, baby. Right? All right. Here. And so keep an eye on that schedule. Uh, the schedule is complicated. Are you ready to go? GNCC racing! Ten seconds for row number one, the XC1. And here comes the XC1 class as they jockey for position. It's Craig DeLong out in front with the reverse plate. He wants that championship, wants the 5-1-4 got in store for Craig DeLong here today.
we go. Josh Trank trying to set it up. His first win of the season, and he'll be the eighth winner of the year if he can hang on right here. Oh, pressure coming from Gerard on Baylor. But there it is. How about it for Josh Strang capturing the win here today? Oh, man. My heart rate's like 205, and I wasn't even out there. <laughs> It's good. I didn't yeah, think yeah, I didn't yeah. have it. You know, it's, I, I feel sorry for the people that didn't think I had it. So, uh, there's a few of those guys. So, it's just unfortunate. I mean, yeah. I mean, I worked my ass off. So, uh, um, I'm proud of my efforts. And, and uh, you know, it was a, it was like a, like you said, definitely not my my most stellar year as results wise goes, but. Uh, it was fun, I enjoyed it. Last couple of races were good, so I'll be back. Bro, you're a camera guy, keep your lens clean. You're killing me. It's clean. Oh, man. That was everything I had. It was, uh, you know, Josh and I have battled like this at this track before. And, you know, it was, uh, it was a flashback to 2020 or 2021, one of those years, though. Man, it was a it was a good time. It was a hell of a race, and it, I feel like the I feel like the field left it all on the line. I mean, I look back, I look back, and I, I don't I, I don't normally put my head on a swivel, but I look back at one point during the race, and there was ten XC1 riders in one corner, and everybody was in a different line, wide ass open. So, no, it was uh, it was a hell of a way to close out the year, and uh, a good day given the circumstances. But man, I didn't hold my head high, and, and we're just ready for next year. Yeah. Well, Liam, it's been a lot. Could have been a little better, a couple of spots, but I think great people helped me out. Yeah, Matson. Yeah, it was good. Back and forth, uh, fast track it was hard to make up ground. Everyone was really close, so it's a fun day of racing. And, uh, that's what it's all about, man. Pressure. It's, uh, it definitely hasn't sunk in. That's for sure. I, f I thought it'd be a lot more emotional, and I was there the last couple of turns, and uh, man, it's uh, crazy. Just you know it. It took a lot this year, and I worked my butt off, and uh, man, it showed. And yeah, it's just uh, speechless. Just a, just a crazy year. I mean, there's what seven winners and seven races, and to be able to kind of you know get the first to get two wins, and then the first to get three is. I mean, I don't I don't know what happened or what flipped the switch, but I just was able to you know get a new level, and uh, man, it was uh, awesome. So. Thank you. Cheers. It was good. It was tough. Liam and um, Liam, Grant and Cody were all on my rear end there, and sort of second last lap, I got caught up behind a lap on Iron Man Hill, and Liam and um, Grant passed me. I thought I better click it up in here and get moving. So I reset, followed for about a mile, and then sort of made two quick passes, and then tried putting the hammer down. Some of the best races I've seen all year long, especially the last round and this round between you and Liam. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like it when it's that close, but it's good when you come out on top. It's definitely good for the spectators. That's right. Will you race golf? Yeah. Cheers, thank you. I just want to have Very badass. Uh, it was a stressful day. I didn't ride the greatest all day, but uh, I did what I needed to do and sucked with Gus. And uh, yeah, Gus rode, rode his heart out today and he did what he needed to do to be in the position. But uh, yeah, I'm stoked. I don't even know what to say. It's uh, pretty surreal. This is your XC1 Pro Podium from the Ironman GNCC. What a race it was. We're popping bottles here at the Yamaha Racing Ironman GNCC. But that's not all. There's still some champagne in the bottle. Into the boot it goes. Shooey, shooey, shooey. Make some noise for Josh Stray back on the top step of the podium. Not only for Craig DeLong, but the entire team it took to get the job done. But hold those.
those things up high. And you, ladies and gentlemen, make a little noise for your XC2 podium here from the Yamaha Racing Ironman GNCC. Tradition is tradition. Pours it in the CD. And bottoms up, we got another shoey here at Ironman. Congratulations. Man, oh man, a long time coming and a lot of work that went into it. One more time, Liam Draper, make some noise. Man, you've been dreaming, you've been working, I mean, the, the hours in the gym.